weekend, the action-packed air show at March Air Reserve Base, about 80 miles outside L.A., is back after a five-year hiatus. For us, our headliner is the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. It's truly going to be a world-class air show, one of the best in the country. C-17 instructor Lieutenant Colonel Michael Hunter is a director of the 2023 SoCal Air Show at March Field. You'll be able to see C-17. How fast does this go compared to, say, a commercial airliner? It's meant to fly low and slow. Be able to land on a short runway. Very, very short. Narrow runway. Right. These C-17s are aviation marvels. They can maneuver like fighter jets, but they're massive enough they could actually deliver a tank to a battlefield. Also on display, the MQ-9, known as the Reaper drone. Probably the coolest thing about the plane is its long loiter time. We can spend up to 23 hours airborne. This aircraft can also be used at high altitude with little to um, no detection by people on the ground. Meet members of the Air Force like Master Sergeant Silva, flight chief for the MQ-9. As a young kid, I used to go to air shows myself, so finally being able to be in that parent position to bring my kids to an air show, uh, it's hard touching to me. He says the unmanned aircraft does hit critical targets, but also collects intelligence and plays a vital role in natural disaster response. We've actually teamed up with our state partner, Cal Fire monitor and assess the wildfires. The event expected to draw at least 200,000 people each day is a rare chance for the public to get a front row seat to the national security importance and history of March. There are 72 Air Force bases in the United States and March is the third oldest. 106 years. So it was a nuclear base during World War II. How important is this base? It's extremely important. So we're basically always on standby. It's very similar to what a firefighter does. Whether there's a Chinese spy balloon, an unauthorized aircraft breaching airspace, a hijacked plane, or other threat, Lieutenant Colonel Hernandez and his team are ready. How fast can you deploy? Immediately. There's also the 701st Combat Operations Squadron based here. Their focus, working with South Korea to monitor their neighbor to the north. This is a very important mission because with the tensions the way they are on the Korean theater, we need to remind the North Koreans that we uh, are ready to go uh, if they want to provoke us. With so many critical missions at hand, those we spoke to say they hope this air show, which by the way is completely free, will inspire the next generation. We want to inspire them to do something that's, that's bigger than just themselves. It is going to be so cool. I'm such an aviation nerd, and just hearing all of the, uh, all of this in my ear gets me excited. So here's the thing. Not only is the air show free, parking is completely free. There are some other options for VIP viewing in that, and that you'd have to pay for. But uh, general admission is completely free. SoCalAirShow.com for more information. And Melvin and Jen, I was speaking to one of the service members who used to go to air shows when he was a kid, and you may have seen him in the story. He started tearing up and getting mm. super emotional because it meant so much to him and determined his career trajectory um, seeing something like that himself firsthand when he was a little boy. So Aww. very cool. I hope our viewers will check it out. That's really special.